late once again because of work and stuff that are happening. I apologize. Hopefully it won't happen anymore, but I totally, totally, totally might. In any case, today I wanted to talk about, uh, I wanted to do a, sort of a follow-up. A couple of weeks ago we talked about going to events and socializing, which are two horrible things you should never do, but uh, we talked about how you totally should do them. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I did actually go uh, to one of these events, to one of these board game events that, that uh, I have relatively close to here. And uh, I just wanted to follow up with, by saying how amazingly fun that was and how great that was and how how much I'm totally going to try and, and you know, as best as I can to go to these events from now on. It's really comfortable that it's once a month because it is much easier to kind of commit to something that's once a month. It's not really a commitment. I mean, I could totally not go if I want to. But uh, I have a lot of friends that go there, and I've, I, we've said, hey, we're going we're gonna to be here. We're going to go to this once a month when it comes along. And it's uh, just a really, really cool place. It's basically a giant club where usually it's, it's, it's a music club with, you know, there's a giant dance floor and there's tons of stuff like that. And it's a really big place with a big kitchen and everything. But once a month, they host this thing where people bringing a ton of... There, there's a huge library of board games. And there's also a, a discounted menu for various foodstuffs and whatever and some beer and what, whatnot. And you could just come in and play. And there's a million tables and so many people. There were... I, I don't want to throw out a random number, but I'm going to. 150 people maybe, maybe even more just coming in there, you pay a little bit at the entrance, and then you can do whatever the hell you want and obviously pay for food and buy food. According to what I've heard, though, this specific event that I am talking about isn't incredibly profitable for the owners, but it's not like they're losing money on it. And because it's so much fun and it's such co such community building, then they do it. And you know what? That's that's wonderful. That's such a, such a wonderful um, thing. I'm not sure if they're really not profitable because it seems pretty pretty good. Uh, it seems like a pretty nice thing to do, and it's just, you know, it's not an entire day. It's a good amount of time, but it's not an entire day, and it's, it seems like it should be, but I don't know. That's what I've heard anyways. It's a really cool event, and I, I highly recommend trying to do something like that uh, with a lot of people wherever you can, and really going to these types of events, and specifically board games are awesome. I really like board games. I've always known that I've wanted to play more board games than what I do right now, which is not a lot at all whatsoever. I played board games as a kid. I actually have a really old version of, of Monopoly and a really old version of, of Talisman um, in one of the storage closets, whatever, in this house. Really old board games that I've, you know, played when I was little with my brothers or whatever. But I, I never had... The problem for me was that I never had board games growing up. Uh, I never had like a good team of people, team or, or a, a group of players that wanted to play consistently or relatively consistently. And these days, it's not like I'm going to pay, I don't know how much for, they cost a good amount of money for a game if I don't know if I'm even going to play it because they are multiplayer games 99.999% of the time. So you need other people to play it. And if I don't have one, I'm not going to buy it. So... It is very helpful that you have these type of events where you can, where can you go to. It is a small money investment maybe, but you might meet people that you can actually later on uh, join and, and play board games on a weekly basis or whatever it is that you might want to do. Board games are really great. And a friend of mine, the last thing that I'm going to say is that a friend of mine actually, by some miraculous occurrence, managed to get some of, of, of uh, our friends that really do not play anything and they're not they're not they don't play video games and they don't play board games and don't really care about games they he, he got them to sit down and play settlers which is a very one of the very common very known very uh, rather simple game and he got them to, to sit down and play it and they had a blast and they kept bothering him to continue to play settlers to the point where he doesn't want to play settlers anymore because he wants to move on to other things, he's done with that game, and they still want to play Settlers, 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 because they had so much fun playing it once. So really, if you've never played board games, try it. It's good. I, I promise, it's good. And there's so much resources online, there's, you know, simple, relatively simple board games, relatively simple card games that, that you could play, um, such as Settlers, I guess. 
and there are way, 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 way more complicated board games if you're into that kind of stuff. Like, for example, Mage Knight, who, which is, which I, I had a chance to play, and it seems like it's such an incredibly complex game, but also a really good one. So hopefully I'll get to, to play that uh, a little bit more. So yeah, board games are awesome. You should play them. Yeah, that's it for Where You Should today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.